I published recently an excerpt from a sermon in which I talked about a woman who had been cured of cancer, a woman that we had prayed for many, many times in our weekly prayer to St. Pantaleon. We do a canon and an archivist and in the format of a Maleban service every week and we have a long list of people that we pray for and people submit uh, people to pray for. And this woman was cured of cancer and the person who had submitted her uh, wrote me and told me. And I had introduced the clip by saying St. Pantaleon heals a woman of cancer and therefore we pray. Well, someone wrote me uh, and said that could be misunderstood and people that are Protestants, for instance, would be offended by that because it sounds to them to be idolatrous. And I completely agree with him that Protestants could be offended by that. For that matter, I suppose some Orthodox could be offended by that. The fact is that St. Pentelaman doesn't heal anybody. The Mother of God doesn't heal anybody. I don't baptize anybody. I don't marry anybody. The bishop doesn't ordain anybody. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, all of these things happen. We are the agency through which these things happen. But God's grace descends upon man in various sacraments and in various things that we do. Anything that you do, if it's good, it came down from the Father of Lights. So, definitely, it's not absolutely rigidly correct to say that Saint Pantaleon healed this woman of cancer. However, it is rigidly correct to say that we prayed to Saint Pantaleon, we asked him that he would intercede with his powerful prayers before the throne because he is a great friend of God, having proven his friendship through his martyrdom. And Saint Pantaleon interceded for us and this woman was healed. We see these kinds of things happen all the time. There's lots of examples of it in the church, both ancient and current. So absolutely, it's true that St. Pantaleon of his own can heal nobody. Only God heals. Only God enlightens. Only God brings down good from heaven. However, we cooperate with that good, and he uses us I suppose that's a bad, a bad way to say it. We can be vehicles of grace. If we can have a great we can have this privilege to be able to serve God, whether we are alive or dead. St. Pentelaman has this privilege to hear people asking his prayers, especially for the sick. And he brings prayers before God, and God, in some way that we don't understand, hears the prayers of his saints, because the effective prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So, our language might not be real precise, but we still say things like, I baptized this person, I married this person, and St. Pantaleon healed this person. And all I can tell you is we're going to continue to say on Meleben, a weekly prayer service, asking St. Pantaleon to pray for us because his prayers are very powerful. And he's teaching us by our Meleben when we stand before his icon and gaze into his eyes and, and ask his help. He's teaching us about love. He's teaching us about mercy. His name means all merciful. So we're not going to stop. We can't stop, even if we wanted to, because it would be a sin. It would be not having thanksgiving before God. It would be being the nine lepers instead of the one. So we'll continue to pray and ask St. Commander Layman to intercede for us. And we will continue to see healings. And I'll probably continue to say, St. Pantelaimon healed such and such. Glory be to God. O holy great martyr and healer, Pantelaimon, intercede for us.